Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with Truth, Burning the Dark, until I liked this the time this reads. So when you got each other's truth, clarity, confirmation message you're looking for. You guys, I'm going to jump in because I only have like 15 minutes at max to do this reading, maybe 20. Um, if I get a phone call, um, I have to click off because um, I have an appointment on a phone call. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to jump into this. Holy Spirit, angels, insects, highest white light, and the most high. Please can be correct and accurate for the collective. What do they know, need to know about the situation? Okay, so the situation I was hearing was they used you, okay? Um, this person that was in your life is in your life. Um, it could be past, present, or going to be the future. Um, is using you, was using you, okay? They they only had you in their life because they needed to use you, okay? I'm hearing they used you for your money, your time, your energy. They siphoned from you. That's the only reason why they came in. If you're wondering if it's a female or a male, I'm hearing it could be a female and a male. So I'm hearing um, you could have been used by more than one person, okay? This individual thought they were privileged. This individual thought they were better than you. They thought they could do this. They thought that you were, uh, I'm hearing gullible. I'm hearing a blondie. So you could be a blondie or like, um, you know, somebody that uh, let people walk all over them, okay? So that's why I'm hearing that they used you. Um, they target certain people. They, they go after certain people. Um, they thought they could bully you as well, bully you as well, and gaslight you. Um, they, they're using you for what you have, what you, what you can have. Um, so again, um, this person, um, is using you or was using you. And this is a confirmation that you were looking for, okay? Um, it, I, I'm hearing that it, it was for sure one person. You were used by one person for sure, possibly two or three more people. It could be more as well. Um, it could have been, you could have been in your lowest point in your life. You could have been going through a situation. Um, I'm hearing somebody was going through like a loss of a loved one or was going through a divorce or like lost a job, like something significant happened in your life. And so they swooped in and they, they thought they could come in and like, you thought they were trying to be your friend. You thought they were trying to be, your, you know, a, a partner with you or a lover, but they were just using you. Okay. They're using you. And again, they thought they could get away with this. They thought they were privileged. They thought they were above you. I mean, they thought they were above you. They had like, they're above the law. They're above uh, authority of you. The thing they did not realize is you actually had authority over them because the reason you had authority over them is because you were walking the path of God and you may not realize that you were totally walking the path of God, but you were, you were a light worker, a chosen one, and they were not okay because they thought they were better. I'm hearing that you did not think you were better than them. You do not think that you're better than them. Um, I'm hearing you could treat people equally. You treat people respectfully. Okay, you don't care about their gender, their race, their sexuality. Um, you're somebody that loves unconditionally, okay? Um, cares for people unconditionally with no conditions. The, 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 this person that came in cared because of conditions, okay? They cared because something you had. Okay, that's why they use these. They're poisonous, wow. Okay, their denial of who they are. Okay, this person's poisonous, toxic, unhealthy behavior people. So, very poisonous, very toxic, okay? They could have tried to give you the red apple, okay? Like, um, Lilith did to Eve, okay? Temptation, that they were temptation. This person could have tempted you, tempted you to do things that they you normally don't do. Um, went out of your comfort zone. Um, you could have been going through an identity crisis. I did put a message out yesterday about identity crisis. Um, it hasn't been uploaded, but... You could have been, that's what you could have been doing. You could have been going through identity crisis and they target people that go through identity, identity crisis, a spiritual awakening, something significant in your life. And that's how they are able to tempt you, okay? Um, they're not facing the truth, okay? Irrational reasoning. They're not facing the truth. They could be wearing glasses, like rose-colored glasses. Um, they're in denial of who they are, okay? I'm still hearing they think they're better than you, okay? They think they're better than you. They think that they had a higher authority of you. They thought they had control over a situation. They did not realize you had a higher authority over them because of God, okay? Because of protection of God, okay? Wow. Drama queen. This person could have been drama queen too, causing a lot of drama, thirsty, causing chaos. Like the thirsty, for, okay? I'm, they're thirsty for your information. They were thirsty. This person could have been fishing as well, fishing for more, seeing what you know about them, seeing what you know about a situ certain situation, causing chaos. I'm also hearing this person that was using you could have been like, uh, manipulated people to stay away from you, okay? To keep you all alone, make you feel like you're all alone, making you not have friends. Making other people steal from you as well. They took, 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 took. Okay, it was always, always um, you giving, giving, giving to them. Okay? Never you receiving anything. It was always you giving, giving, giving to them. 
Again, they thought they were above the law. They thought they were higher than you. They thought they were, they thought they were privileged. You, yeah, see, you were going through an emotional roller coaster. You were going up and down. You were going through something. There was um, some of the highest high. Um, somebody has a roll, adrenaline rush, too. You may like adrenaline rush. They may like adrenaline rush. Somebody may like roller coasters as well. I'm hearing like an emotional roller coaster. Somebody's like, that's the thing is they thought they could um, take advantage of you because of the fact that you could have been an emotional roller coaster. You could have been going through something. Okay, somebody could have been going through like some kind of mental health issue for a moment. Again, trying to figure out who they are. You could have been under the influence of narcotics or, or drinking as well. And um, you you could have been weak in the past. Okay, I'm hearing something about you could have been a little bit weak. Like you didn't, you were not, you did not have protection. You did not know who you were. And so, um, Somebody didn't know about like black magic. Somebody did not believe black magic either. You did not believe any like black magic. You didn't believe magic was real. You didn't believe that there was cults. Cult. You you weren't woke. Okay, somebody was not woke at the time. Somebody was still sleeping. Okay, and then there's some kind of awakening that you had, some kind of activation, and that's when like you were being pulled away from these people that were using you. Okay, being pulled away from these people that were using you. You're becoming distant from them. You could go to them, cut them off. They only came into your life when they needed you and needed something. Okay, what else? Thank you. Retali now they're wanting retaliation. Now they're coming back at you. Now they're seeking revenge because you walked away. They're trying to pay back. Okay, like this person can be paid back too. Trying to punish. This person that's using you is blaming you for something too. That um, They feel like that you did something to their life or you took something from them. But you didn't. It was never you. It was somebody else. Somebody, somebody took something from this person, and they thought it was you taken from them. It was never you. So now like they're they're like, causing like doing a payback, trying to cause re uh, chaos in your life, seeking so uh, um, revenge, retaliation. Somebody smokes a lot. A lot. No. Yeah, karmic hamster wheel, going on the hamster wheel. Somebody could have been hustle, like hustling like two, trying to survive. You could have been like, okay, so that's something, like I said, you could have went through something, identity crisis. You were hustling, you were um, surviving, something you were trying to, you know, you could have been homeless for a moment. You could have been like from home to home, um, from place to place. Again, like, identity crisis, something you were going on, like you were causing, um, and you just felt, kept felt like you were going in a circle and circle. It could have been caused from this person. This person could have been doing some kind of spell work to keep you causing a circle, keep you in like a one ring circus or a hamster wheel that keeps going around and around, okay? Um, now they're going to be going around. They are triggering you. Somebody was triggering you. Literally, um, intentionally triggering you. Somebody knew your fears and they were using your fears against you. Okay? So, this person was using you. Was They they knew something about you. Because you allowed these people in. I'm hearing the person that you allowed in that was using you. You you knew this person, okay? Somehow you knew this person. Or you, or they got close to you. They they knew how to get close to you. They knew how to make a situation to get close to you. And for you to open up. And to become vulnerable towards them. And then they knew what to use against you. They, they knew the triggers. They knew how to provoke you. They knew what your fears were. They knew what your insecurities. They knew what they could use against you to attack you, to go after you, um, to make you feel like you were lower than them. I'm hearing beneath them. Okay, they thought you're beneath them, but honestly, you were not beneath them. You were not, this is not to be sound cocky or that you're better than them, but you were higher ranked. As I said, you were higher ranked. You were high authority because you had God in your corner. They did not realize that. They did not realize that you prayed to God, that you believed in Jesus, that you believed in a higher power. They didn't know that. You may have not talked about that. That could have been inside of you. You just, you didn't talk about it. You don't, you know, because everything, some people don't like talking about it. So it's something that you already, you knew, you always believed in God. You always believed in Jesus. You always believed in, in the higher power. Um, you just didn't talk about it. So they did not realize that, that you had God inside, inside of you. I am hearing something that was confirmed. Somebody could have been confirmed at a younger age. They were, you know, baptized and, you know, they always allowed God in. They had. They were always walking with God. They just didn't tell, tell everybody about it. Okay? They didn't realize that. They're unstable. Okay? They try to cause inst you to be unstable. Okay? They try to cause you to, um, you know, fall apart and lose everything. So this person, you may have had stuff in your life. You may have had a lot, a lot of things. This person that used you caused you to lose everything. Okay? Caused you to lose your job. Caused you to lose your husband, your wife, your kids. Caused you to lose your house, your car, your home. Whatever it was, they, they used you. And if it wasn't like them um, taking money from you, they're using your energy. They're using um, 
what they knew about you. They knew so much about you. They used against you so you could lose what you, what you had, okay? They took from you. I'm hearing they knew that you had some kind of gift ability, but did not realize how powerful you were. And they're trying to stop that before you got activated, before you, okay? That's what I'm hearing, before you were activated. Okay, to, to be initiated into the spiritual realm, to be activated into your higher self, okay? To a be activated to wake up, okay, to Christ consciousness, okay? Yeah, somebody's ready to explode, uh, pressure cooker, ready to explode, rage. They're going to have, like, rage. Now that they found out that you have moved forward, you walked away from this person, you cut this person off. Like I said, you cut this person off. You're not allowing this person to use you anymore, these people to use you anymore. Pop up, somebody's going to be popping up. This person maybe should pop up around randomly. There's a high air balloon. Unexpected visit. Spontaneous. You may just be somewhere and then all of a sudden they pop up. Okay. This was just somebody that was forbidden in love. Okay. This could have been, like I said, a lover, a friend. Somebody that was forbidden. Tragedy. See, somebody caused you to lose your children. Somebody could have um, lost their children because of the situation. Or this person you knew since a childhood. They've been using you since childhood. They've been using you since they met you. It was all about the money. It was all about the clout. You thought this was going to be a long-term relationship. You thought this was going to be a long-term commitment with this friend or lover or coworker or family member. Okay, you thought it was. It's not. It was inverted. Okay? Or they're trying to stop a long-term commitment. Okay, they don't want you to have this. Yeah, okay, so waves, emotions coming and going. So if I would have had a roller coaster, this roller coaster, I would have had, this is what I would say is emotional, like up and down roller coaster. This is, they're using this waves. They're using this as adrenaline rush. Something about you could have had an adrenaline rush as well, or they do something about hustling hustling life too walked away from that or you like roller coasters you like you like fast things i'm hearing you could you or them somebody likes somebody likes a darn rush somebody likes fast things fast car because cars came out too fast cars fast movement doing things fast okay but you're focused okay you're focused on what you want and need now okay these people are trash get rid of the trash okay this person that has been using his trash. They cause a lot of anxiety. Um, scare pack. Now they are, okay? This is what they were doing, okay? So if you were, if you were like, falling apart, your life was falling apart, it's because of the person, but, like, if you're going through identity crisis or not knowing what was going on, um, having all this anxiety, this was because of the fact that they were doing spell work against you to cause anxiety, okay? To make you feel like you have panic attacks and make you feel like you were losing your mind, okay? This person was doing this to you. Okay, this person was doing this to you. And now they it's happening to them. Okay, now it's happening to, to them. They have people haunting them, okay? They have things haunting them. That's what I'm hearing, okay? This is a karmic person. Can't make this crap up, okay? Signs, message, unknown forces, synchronicities. My cards don't lie. Again, you guys, thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. You guys, I love you. I love you where I'm at. It's not for you guys and for God. So, thank you. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, and be notified. We are almost at 9,000 people, you guys. 9,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Next will be at 10,000. Because of you guys. I wouldn't have this channel if it wasn't for you guys and for God. So, again, thank you. Thank you so much. You may have a secret admirer, Okay. You have a secret admirer. Somebody's watching you. I've been watching you. Will you be mine? I'm afraid how you feel. So again, you have somebody watching you. Okay. They could have seen that. Okay. So somebody could have seen that you like walked away from this and be like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to let people do this. Somebody's seen that you could have been, okay. Like I said, you could have been a damsel in distress and you went from damsel in distress to being a queen, to being a goddess or God. Okay. You went from somebody being a weak link, possibly a weak link because you're an identity crisis, like, um, vulnerable, um, Someone that was, you know, and it's not bad. I'll, I'll admit, I was a weak link too. I was a weak link. I was brought about one point of time. I was a damn and stress test at one point in my life, you guys. I was, okay? 20, it was from 2017, 2018, 2019, almost 2020 until I got pregnant, actually. Um, was, those years was really when I was like that. Um, and people did not know who I was. People did not realize I was going to actually get up and move away from it all and leave. And that's what I'm getting out of this, okay? And now you have somebody like that's into you that you didn't, like, you have people watching you, like, into you because they see that you pull through this. Sacred chakra. Because you cleared out your sacred chakra. You cleared out your chakras. Now you're able to have intimate relationships, control, pleasure, desire, expand with sexuality. You're able to create. You're able to create boundaries, uh, um, also mentor okay mentoring this is mentoring this is honoring your um 
your your feelings and what's going on with you. It's just honoring you, okay? Honoring you. Nourishing yourself, okay? Nourishing yourself. You are not allowing certain energies in your life anymore, okay? You're allowing that if you do, that you put a blockage up to them, okay? Like, you're not you're not just sleeping around. You're not just meeting other energies. Knowing that coming in contact with this energy is going to um, cause chaos in your life, okay? You're being very careful as well. Okay, because, yeah, root chakra too. So you, you balance your chakras out, okay? Root chakra, you have a stable foundation. Before, you may not have that. That's why this was all happening to you um, or they took it from you. Foundation, roots, home survival, security, I'm grounded, stable, okay? There it is, um, the first two chakras, okay? Clearing those out. Somebody was doing, okay, somebody was doing root chakra and sacral chakra. They're causing um, you to be unstable, unbalanced, okay? They're causing you to have not relationships and to, um, if you were having relationships, they were just quick one one night stands or people coming and going into your life um, to take advantage of you, okay? There it is, okay? I gotta finish this up, you guys. One more. Crown chakra, see? And that you block, your crown chakra is open, enlightenment, um, universal conscious, knowledge, higher awareness, I'm connected source. That means that um, they were trying to block that too. Okay, somebody, they were trying to block this. This person that was using you. Okay, and then, okay, so these people can have a STD, sexual transmitted disease, the bitch burn me, curable, uncurable, help me please. Somebody can have a spiritual STD, um, which could be also um, um, an unclean spirit, okay? A succubus, incubus, jasper spirit, okay? A uh, love spirit, Lilith. Um, there were snakes. These people were snakes that were around you, okay? Betrayal, deception, fake, fraud, dangerous enemy, clever. I used to trust you. You trusted these people that were using you. And look at you got away and you cleared out your um, energy by staging, you know, staging your home, staging your body, um, crystals, um, sacred place and stuff like that, using crystals. You guys, check out my Etsy store. I have a lot of crystals um, to cleanse out and I have sprays as well. And you cut these people off, as I said. Ain't nothing to cut a bitch off. King and queen of swords by Felicia. You cut them off because they caused you to be an entanglement. Past life lover, masculine or feminine, to cause problems between you and your new relationships. They're backstabbers. This person was a backstabber. Hold a smile on your face the whole time they want to take your place. You may have cried for this person. Keep it on the low. Your family, your soul family try to, um, they're guiding you away and your whole vibe. You may have had receipts on this too. Bring the tea, the truth. This was a karmic lover. It's all about the money. It's right there. So it was all about the money. Color pencil, they needed you. They needed you. I'm also hearing they needed you for a ride too. Okay. You may have had a car. You could have been transporting them. I'm also hearing you could have been like, um, what's what are they called? Um but you said I'm hearing something like a slave, okay, or a bitch. Um, like a personal assistant, okay. You could have been doing everything, anything for this person. Um, going to get groceries for them, going to um take the garbage out. You could have been um babysitting the kids, you could be taking care of the home. You were doing everything, they were just using you, okay? Using you. But your whole vibe, okay? Energy doesn't lie. Vibe check. Come and show Your soul vibe, soul family has helped you get away from this, okay? They're helping with your purpose. Um, after you cried so many times for this person or these people, I cried for you, king of queen of cups in my feelings. Yeah. Once you realize what they did to you, you cried. I'm hearing you could have been very, mo that's where the emotional, emotions come in going. But there were secrets. There could have been secrets too. There could have been some blackmail. Um, low key secrets, hidden information, hush hush, not showing you won't tell, I won't tell. And look at bringing the tea, the juice, spilling the beans, hidden truth, gossip, leaked information. You found out something. You found out something. Then these receipts, phone records, text records, photos, evidence, documents, don't think it's true. Proof in the pudding. What did I just read? They were just using you, okay? This person was just using you. This group of people were just using you. You There's something that you were able to get for them that they needed, okay? And that could just been your energy, your time, drugs, money. Whatever it was, that there's something that they could not get or they did not want to get, um, and you were able to get it for them. And so they used you. Okay? They used you, and then they, they made your life fall apart. This person used your life, they, and they used it against you. They thought they were better. They thought they were higher than you. They thought they were privileged. They thought they had control over the situation as well. But who ultimately had control over the situation was God. I thought. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple of these. I'm gonna. I'm gonna
Oh, my phone's gonna be ringing. Let's just wait. You were hidden in plain sight. See? You were divine feminine masculine. They did not know that. This person did not know that. Like, well, they, I'm hearing they knew that you were... I am hearing that they knew that you were gifted, but they did not realize you were divine feminine, divine masculine. You were hidden in plain sight. God hid you. God hid you. God did not want them to know who you were. And then one moment, it was like, boom. You, you access your powers. You access your gifts. It clicked to you. You had an epiphany. And you're like, wow, I am this person. You walked away. And they're like, wow, this person's a divine feminine masculine. I messed with the wrong person. Always coming around begging for money. Okay? That's why. You had the gateway to the spiritual realm. Channeling information, whispers, context, guidance. That's what clicked. Okay? All of a sudden, you had this gateway to the spiritual realm because you were initiated. Okay? This could have been an Aries attacking you. A Gemini. Cancer. Sagittarius. Wow, Aries. They're doing spell work. Okay, manipulating, energy controlling. Police officer put involved. Law official, highway patrol. And look at because you had you have new money coming in. You could be an entrepreneur, entertainment, work, law, invention, investment. They didn't want you to have this. You were heartbroken, disappointed, third party patrol, hurt, pain. And look at they, this person was trying to block your blessings. They're trying to block your blessings. They're trying to block your um, ascension. That's how I'm going to try to block your ascension. But sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Okay, they try to they try to break you and try to hurt you, but words never hurt you. Like you you broke through all this. Look, I said cancer as well. You ghost them, cut them off. One more, thank you. Fraud. Okay, they could have been frauding you too. This person was fraud. This person that was using you was fraud. Fraud. ID theft, money order, credit card, wire transfer, money laundering checks. They are a fraud. This person that was using you was a fraud. Okay, they used you. They took from you. They stole from you. They were a fraud. They were not the true person who they were supposed to be. Angel number. You finally seen through their bull crap. Okay, you finally seen through their bull crap because God, God showed you a vision. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. God showed you a vision. Somebody could have had surgery and went to this this vision. Um, that's when God showed you. So this vision is um when you had surgery, when you went under. Okay, went to sleep. You had this vision. Fifty five. Love, want, healthy relationships, unconditional love for your life, spiritual um, twin flame number, mirroring, a mirroring, ability to lead others. So you have ability to lead others, and they did not realize that. Okay, they did not realize you have ability to lead others. And you had this wake-up call, you had this vision when you went on, somebody went under um, surgery or some kind of situation that happened. You had a vision. God showed you a vision that this person was using you, this person was coming around, trying to stop you, was frauding you. 74, strong intuition, good luck, love, hope, peace, encouragement, divine communication. And four, four, four. Okay, that's balance. Getting your stable structure. Okay, somebody had somebody threw your structure upside down, took everything from you, but you're building it back up again. So you started from bottom, and you're building it back up. Connection with angels, the guidance they're giving you, stability, structure, foundation, grounding, protection, and spirituality. Taurus, Cancer, Aries, Virgo, and number ten. There comes up the Aries again. There comes up the Cancer. We have a Taurus too, and we have a Virgo. And we have number 10, I love you, love, peace, light, healing, namaste.